Uh, hello everyone. I think uh, this is question. I will show you uh, an example of application that I made. You know, also inspired by my previous uh, app about land cover. I think you, you have ever see the video before or in my post and LinkedIn. Uh, so it's about land cover. But for now, it's most likely on world population. So I'm using this data uh, from our engine, GHSL, Global Population Surface uh, Population, which show you know population of the world, you know. Uh, for 1975 up to 2030. I mean, of course, 2025 and 2030 data is projection, not the truth. But still, uh, we can use still use that to you know to do something about it. <coughs> so, uh, I developed this application uh, using Next.js for the whole application, map library for the maps, or engine for the you know back end to calculate and you know, show the layer. So I don't export any layer at all. So this from our engine, I can just uh, generate it. So basically, in my script, uh, every time we call the image, uh, the data I just call to our engine, right? Like this script, and it will show you know uh, call to our engine, then generate the URL that can add to the map library, which if you see in my script is about here. So, so I call and make a new source using that uh, test URL. So here's the data. Uh, what this app can do basically is that, uh, of course, you can show the image. I don't know, I mean, show the image. For example, I think this is for 2020, population of Jakarta. And you can also click to see the population for, you know, for each place and like this. So, you know, uh, in this one block, there will be like 100 people. If I click block here, here, maybe there's no people at all. <laughs> it's maybe it's a river or something. So, yeah. So uh, I make legend here that so it's when it's white, it's have a lot of people. If it's green, it's medium. Black, there's no people at all. You can do it in the whole region of in the world. You know, for example, I live in Ada here. Uh, if I click uh, in this, where is, I forgot where Ada is here. No, no, no it's not. Mm. No, it's this Ultra. Ah, here. This is Ada. Ah, uh, should be careful. If I click, for example, this Benacom, uh, where I live, uh, you see that this area have about 80 people per uh, per hectare. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say it's per hectare. Okay, <laughs> remember? So people, so about 80 people per hectare in this area region. And you can change the uh, the what uh, the 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 year because the data is from 1975, right? You can just scroll the data back here. It will generate from 1975 like this. Very easy, right? Okay, and back to 2025, and here you go back to the fresh image. And how about the future 2030? Okay, just switch it. Maybe you want to search for 1990. Sure, back here. It's legit, and it's quite fast, like really, really fast. It's amazing. <laughs> and if you're like, oh, I just want to see the difference, you know, trend. Oh, you can just uh, click this trend layer. We just show the trend, you know. Uh, per year. So basically, if it's red, it means it's at up to 10% per year for people. I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but this person did that. <laughs> but if it's like blue, it means that it's decreasing. I'm using uh, minus 2.5% as a limit here. I mean, I'm not using the same value for ends, uh, for the subtraction and addition because, you know, some people add, you know, add more than they are, you know, decrease. So extend to uh, to use uh, the max value for the ten percent and for the negative for minus twenty two point five, because not then the red would be too much. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you can see that Europe and U USA kind of have you know decreasing population somehow. Also China, the same. People moving from uh, village to urban area, it seems so. Well, I think like Indonesia uh, is increasing. Mostly increasing. <laughs> now, for example, Java. Look at this. Well, although you can see some blue, right? Maybe in some village. Oh, actually, it's also decreasing in some places. Huh. I see. Huh. It's unique actually. Maybe it's game of the server or something. <coughs> if I you see to go to the uh, my hometown, but then it's a show. Switch table. So that's it. Uh, you can also uh, instead of just clicking, you can also calculate like the using uh, the whole polygon, you know. So let's say here. Uh, you can just output your polygon. I'm using uh, here uh, my 
my uh, Palembang city uh, border here so I can calculate it here <laughs> it show you know the, uh, the so if I call it you can see that it's population per year you know like for example if it's about 1 million and now in 2020 uh, it's about 2 million which is uh, about correct you can also download the data if you want download data as GSV you know like usual <laughs> you can move it to your Excel or shit uh, uh, up to you so yeah that's the example of my application basically I mean you can use it uh, this is only a uh, fun project that I developed you know it's fun to use your engine and you know web map to do something so yeah when you when you calculate uh, basically it send also a post or uh, send a value usually <laughs> send a geometry to the server or engine then we do a reduce region you know reduce region basically to sum the value of the area then we send it back to the to the front and using Google chart uh, we can make some chart you know like, like the one I show you before so yeah that's it if you the source in the bottom right back you can follow them uh, or this data from our engine the same the same source so yeah that's it I uh, hope this helped also oh yeah I also have the github for that uh, uh, you can just clone it uh, it's okay I love it <laughs> just don't forget to mention me if you use it somehow yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Hey, don't forget to use uh, our engine key right? and Sadia key if you want the, you know the the back the back map you know the best map and to use our engine. So yeah, don't forget to use the engine key because it's important. <laughs> you have to authenticate basically. Ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, now what? Uh, cool. Okay, see you, see you around. I uh, hope this video helped. I uh, can do something for you. Bye.